hi guys and welcome back to my channel i never got to tell my parents this story because i never deserved it my only crime was being a student at that school hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is z and on this channel i do everything around vlogs around the world especially emo state nigeria i also do legal stuff to keep you away from trouble and i also do skin and hair care related videos you should check them out so in this video i'll be telling you my story but first we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers before the 11th of february 2021 so you should consider subscribing I wouldn't be mistaken if I said that secondary schools or boarding homes in Nigeria are trash. To be very honest, I don't think I'll be able to subject my child or my children to um, that kind of experience. Be it as it may, our parents meant well for us, but regardless, the educational system in Nigeria is not as it should be. If this happened in Genesis 3 or SS1, I can't actually remember the date because I mean those people kept changing and reshuffling the classrooms i do not know why they kept doing that so to, i can't remember but i can still remember that particular class where it happened it was the third building and the very first um classroom on that third building i can still remember vividly the classroom it happened because i remember that my seat was at the back by the window it was during prep now for those of you who do not know what prep is prep actually means study time and yeah i want to also share your experiences with me in the comment section so prep time means study time it was a time um, allocated to students to be able to study and those were like one to two hours of study hours on your own and this school like i said is owned by a religious institution owned by a religious institution so we didn't have to wear the normal barret or hat as you would see in most two sh secondary schools we had to tie a scarf yes we had to tie a scarf from ss1 to ss3 you had to tie it what are this so as the class prefect and during prep you have just one or two teachers assigned to ensure that students are study so that day the most dreaded teacher was on duty and um when we got to know people were like oh it's sad this person is sad. that person that is on duty and people were you know when he's around people are scared and all of that so um he had come to the class to inform the class prefect and that would be me to write names of noisemakers in nigeria we write names of noisemakers and i said okay uh so that day i announced in class that i didn't want to write anybody's name however i would have to adhere to the instructions of the teacher i didn't want to write any name because i was tired of making enemies so i kept saying please keep quiet please keep quiet please keep quiet but i mean <laughs> i was not only small in size i was also quiet facially so who would even listen to me right so that was how I didn't write any names of noisemakers. And then the lecturer, the teacher came into the class and the class was noisy. So he asked, where is the list of noisemakers? And I couldn't produce it. This man literally abused me in the presence of over 30 students. I've never been humiliated in my life. I've never been so abused in my life. He told me to come in front of the class. And I did. I was scared that day. You know, I've seen how I was working. Because I knew what was there. So, usually how the floor girls in my school is, you stretch out your hand like this. I don't know if you can see it, like this. And then this guy gave me the most strokes of canes I've ever received in my life. Hey! This man flogged me until I didn't even know when pee, hot pee escaped from my... <laughs> God. Like, I literally wet the... Like, I peed. You know that kind of pee that will now... Also... also to the class. Ha! 
and then I was wearing my day wear, and our day wear that day was I, could, I didn't even know what to do. I was I was red, you know, because I'm fair now. So like when he beats me like that, I was red. Literally, I was red. So he flogged me, flogged me. I peed on myself. I can't. I, I don't think I'll ever forget that day in my life. Like, ha! I cried though. It's something that I like. I feel like secondary schools in Nigeria are just boarding schools in Nigeria are just overrated. I just feel they are overrated. If 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 you find a good school, there's a day school. It's better to just put your kids there so that you are aware of their day-to-day -day activities. Because Nigerian secondary schools, if the person is not initiated, because I had to go through that. Like, we have to go through that one. They are every day they are delivering someone in, being initiated into a cult. I had I had that experience as well. Like every day they are doing deliverance from one person, causing you mental trauma. The next thing is also having all this. Um, I didn't even say that at first. The school was separated. You had the male and the female school. We didn't have any communication whatsoever with the male folks, right? So it was. Whew, and. We didn't even have provisions. Like my secondary school, we didn't have provisions. Like we had one single day for every class to buy. So today SS1 and SS1 can buy. Tomorrow SS2 and like just like that in a week. So we were it, it was like that school taught me how to smuggle. You see bread. So you see bread like that. How how puffy it is. You flatten it. Flatten the bread like this. Then you put it in your tights. I don't know how to explain. You put it in your tights right here. By the side of your hip so it forms a hip for you <laughs> then you take the bread into the um your host there then keep it like different strategies like tights that day tights like wearing female tights were just the easiest way to get things into anywhere like you even your bra you 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 fall like you keep packing things everywhere just because of what you are smuggling biscuits you are smuggling and goody goody, you're smuggling. Ah, oh, Jesus. Like, I think that place taught me how to smuggle. I can conveniently smuggle anything into anywhere at this point in my life. <laughs> like, it was crazy. But, well, that's my experience. And I'm grateful that I went through that. I mean, um, everything that has happened in my life has gotten me to this point, right? And if I do say so myself, I think I'm doing pretty well. So that was my experience. That was how I was abused. And <sighs> secondary schools in Nigeria are just overrated. Especially boarding houses. If you don't have to go there, you don't need to go there. That's my honest opinion. Especially the ones that are very restrictive, very they feel like there's something they're trying to hide from you or there's something they're trying to keep away from you. Those ones are even the worst, if you ask me. Whew. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to share. So if you love my story, well, I don't need you to love it. Just like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be sure to see you in my next video. But until I come your way next time, remember to stay safe and join the stampede. Join the road, join the journey. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers and hope to see you at 5,000 soon.